Hello, Chameleon Wranglers. You have probably heard the term bioactive thrown around a lot. Bioactive is a term that's reserved for the soil or substrate when it's treated like a living organism. The leaves are breaking down, the isopods and springtails are flourishing, and a healthy level of moisture is tying it all together. As chameleon keepers, we generally don't think about the soil. I mean, chameleons live in the trees. <laughs> Why would we care about what's going on at the bottom of the cage? And actually, that's true. When people start off with veiled chameleons, panther chameleons, Jackson's chameleons, I generally advise that they have a bare floor because the chameleons don't need anything on the floor and it's a good way to measure their health. And we've talked about this in previous episodes here. But having a bioactive system is a skill all of its own. And while you're learning how to take care of a chameleon, there's no reason to add another skill on top of that. But there is room to grow. We want to view our chameleon's enclosure as a total environment and adding a living soil is a powerful step in that direction. And what do I mean by a powerful step? Well, philosophically, it helps us get out of the mindset that we're just using a cage to contain a chameleon into a certain space. And we graduate to start seeing the enclosure as the space that we have to create an environment. And if we do our job right, the environment takes care of the chameleon. But there also is a very practical aspect to this, and anyone doing outdoor keeping knows this right away. You need a soil floor so you can get your temperature and humidity gradients, which if you're outdoors in the direct sunlight, it's the difference between life and death. So this really isn't a new concept for the chameleon community. Now, taking it a step further, and we have found a number of very difficult species to breed in captivity have flourished when put into a bioactive environment. A number of the smaller species of chameleons and babies tend to live closer to the ground. And so this is providing a more natural environment for them and they have responded. The success that we have found in the community is undeniable. So while having a bioactive substrate, it's not necessary for veiled chameleons, panther chameleons, Jackson's chameleons, developing skills in the bioactive arts is an important step forward if you want to progress in the art of chameleon husbandry. So just what does bioactive mean? It's simply a soil or substrate layer at the bottom of the cage, but this substrate is filled with the cycle of life. Leaves and twigs are decomposing, which in addition to your chameleon's waste, nourishes the isopods and springtails. And many people hear about the benefits of bioactive substrate being that you don't have to clean up the poop. While true, that's only one small part of the whole picture. Creating and maintaining a bioactive environment is a discipline all of its own. It requires putting in the right substrate materials, managing your colony of isopods and springtails, and maintaining an ecological balance within your enclosure. So I'm not sure how much time it actually saves, but I am sure that it puts your efforts to a much more enjoyable and fulfilling part of the hobby. So should you try a bioactive environment? Well, that's up to you. It can be challenging with the larger species of chameleons like the veiled panther and jacksons. But when you start getting into the smaller species of chameleons like the brookesia, the smaller kaluma, or just any species babies, bioactive environments start to bring a direct benefit to those chameleons. Whatever your situation, creating or at least just understanding the bioactive arts will usher you into a world that opens up a much greater understanding of the myriad of interactions in nature. I encourage you to try it out. Besides, who can resist these cuties? In the next episode, I'm going to go over the high level considerations when it comes down to setting up a bioactive enclosure or an entire rack of bioactive enclosures. This is just one episode in a series on bioactive environments for chameleons. Subscribe to Chameleon Academy for the whole thing, and I will see you soon.